All right, now the next step that I wanna show you is only for people that already have an email list and they wanna import that specific email list to get response. So if you don't already have a list or you don't have any email contacts, just skip ahead to the next part, just hover over the progress part of this video and skip ahead to the next part, which is how to create a sign up form. So for people who wanna import a list, what you have to do is first of all, go to lists on the top here and then you will end up on this screen and then just click on add contacts. Then we have to choose the list we wanna put those people on. So let's choose the medic tutorials list. And then you can either add people one by one, which is really a lot of work. So I would suggest you choose upload a file. And what you have to do is you have to export your email list as a CSV file from your other email marketing provider that you're currently using. And then you can just upload that list to your GetResponse account using this option. So um, I'm gonna choose upload file option and then I'm gonna click on select a file from computer. I'm gonna choose this example file right here. So this is your CSV file that you download from your other email marketing provider. And then you can decide on add and update existing, only add new or only update existing. As I don't have any people in my GetResponse account, it doesn't really matter what I choose here. So let's just say only add new. Then you have to tick this. I have permission to add these people to my list, which means that they have voluntarily given you permission to put them on your email list, which is the case if they have opted in to your email list on your other provider. Then click next. And then it will open up kind of a couple of columns, which, um, so GetResponse is trying to figure out what column um, is will be assigned to what, um, to what factor. So, uh, right here it recognizes that these are email addresses so it automatically changes this to email so this these will be saved up as email addresses and then also the country for example it also recognizes that these are countries so it's uh, it assigns them to a country and if it's something it's something is do, does is not recognized then you can assign it here so let's for example say that for example this one these are tags so what i can do is just change this to so let's say this is a comment that I also wanna have assigned to each of these contacts. So you don't lose any information when you're importing your contacts to get response. And then if everything looks fine, you can click on skip columns with marked question mark, which means that all of these data, all of this data right here will be lost because I don't have any data in there anyway, so I don't care. So I'm just gonna click on import right here. Now it's importing your contacts and this might take a while because people like the, um, staff of GetResponse has to now look at these contacts and make sure they're actually legit and you're not just um, importing random contacts that you're gonna spam um, later on. So um, don't worry about this, just click OK and then after like two hours, come back to this and see if everything worked.